Tonight, a new study is shedding light on how hurricanes like Ian, Helene, and Milton rapidly intensify to become major hurricanes. Researchers at USF's College of Marine Science say it all has to do with the current in the Gulf. As 10 Tampa Bay News reporter Chris Hurst explains, they also have good news for this hurricane season. Steps from the water. What I show you here. Dr. Yang Gang Liu can hardly contain his excitement for his newest published study, looking into how this current in the Gulf, known as the Loop Current, helped Hurricane Ian strengthen quickly as it came toward Florida's coast. But we wonder why. Why is the water so warm in that year? And the surface water, why is it so warm? So USF anchored buoys miles off the coast, but still on the shallow continental shelf to measure not just surface water temperature, but for the first time, how hot the water is more than 50 feet down. For our mooring, we have the top side and we have bottom side. Grad student Sam D'Angelo shows up close what they use to get the data. Typically, they're like this on the buoy. What they found shows a direct correlation, they say, between the water's subsurface temperature and the ability for hurricanes to strengthen in mere hours when they pass over the shelf. So as that loop current moves, and sometimes it impinges or moves up on the shelf, and when it does that, it brings cooler water to the shelf, right? And cooler water means less energy, for example, for hurricanes. The current was weaker during Ian and last year, meaning the water on the shelf stayed too warm. But for this year, Dr. Liu says the hot tub is colder. This year, we have some good news. Yeah, we deserve this good news. Good news at just the right time. In St. Petersburg, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. It is important to note that this phenomenon has only been studied now for hurricanes that originate in the Gulf and come northwest of the Keys, but that has been the track for our recent devastating storms.